All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today, I am back with an exciting unboxing. Stan Solo has just released his brand new Rebel Fleet Trooper, and I'm super jazzed to get this thing in the mail. It's been a long time coming. It's a dream realized by Stan Solo. It's a figure that Kenner never made in the original run. And Stan Solo has finally delivered this beauty, and I am about to show this off to you guys. So let's check out the Rebel Fleet Trooper, shall we? All right, you guys, at long last, my Rebel Fleet Troopers have arrived. This has been a special, special day, um, long overdue. Um, not because I waited forever from, uh, for Chris and Stan Solo to send me these, um, but just because Kenner never made these, these action figures, and these have been... Like I said, long overdue, and luckily Stan Solo is making our dreams come true, and I, I cannot be more more jazzed about opening this box right now. This has been a figure that I've wanted for a very long time, as I know many of you out there watching this video feel the same way. Um, I believe I did even mention this video, or this figure rather, see, can't even talk guys, already, already fumbling my words. Um, I know I mentioned this figure some time ago in one of my top 10 videos that I wish uh, figures that Kenner had made and the Rebel Fleet Trooper I do believe was one of them. This was a um, just a massive hole in the collection. Um, we did get a um, you know the Death Star version of this trooper, the Death Squad Commander, but we never got the Rebel Fleet Trooper and today that dream is realized thanks to Stan Solo. So let's Let's uh let's get into this guys. Uh man. Woo! Guys, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> All right. Let us take a peek. Oh my gosh, dude. Jesus. Oh my word. Look at this guy. Rebel Fleet Trooper. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm finally holding this bad boy in my hand right now. Gosh. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Look at that face. Stan Solo, let me see if I can get the light a little better for you guys. Stan Solo knows how to make faces on his action figures. Look at the detail. Look at those eyebrows. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Kind of has a... Um, Kind of almost like a Han Solo vest. Um, this is exactly what Kenner would have done, guys. I mean, I have no doubts in my mind. Uh, the helmet is gorgeous. Perfect. It's got that ping pong ball, half moon type thing going on. Oh, my God, guys. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the attention to detail that Stan Solo puts forth in all his action figures. Like I said, this face... Is beautiful absolutely beautiful I know I'm talking about a man here but for an action figure I've seen other custom jobs um, people this is of course not the first time somebody's met a rebel fleet trooper but this is the first time that I've seen a gorgeous factory made rebel fleet trooper that looks just like what Kenner would have done in my opinion um, of course it is fully articulated legs and arms head moves good golly this is a beautiful figure um, simple color scheme you know nothing crazy again keeping with the Kenner motif nothing crazy blue black gray very simple Kenner was all about you know three four about three to five uh, colors per figure they didn't get they didn't go buck wild and so Stan Solo does not go buck wild and if you've seen the movie which I know you all have many 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 times you know that the Rebel Fleet Trooper looks well I hate to say it but looks just like this I mean these are the colors these are the colors guys um, and of course signature SS stamped on the back of the leg Stan Solo coup this is a true custom action figure a beautiful custom figure um, does have the holes for the foot pegs yeah this guy oh my gosh this is gonna go great with Princess Leia um, it's still weird that Kenner never made this action figure. Um, I think this would have been a rebel, um, an army building dream right here if they would have made this. You know, we got the Stormtrooper, 
but we never got the Rebel Fleet Trooper. So had we had this guy back in back in the day, there would have been, you know, an army of stormtroopers versus an army of Rebel Fleet Troopers just pew, 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 pew all day long. I mean, that's what would have been taking place at uh, at playtime. But this is a this is a sublime figure. Very simple. Like I said, it's a simple, but it just screams Kenner. I mean, you know, absolutely screams Kenner. That's what Kenner did best. They made simple looking designs, but they were like movie accurate for the most part. Most of the figures, you know, looked akin to what we saw in the film. Some of them, they took some creative liberties. Sometimes they didn't have the right production photos. They didn't know what they were going off of, if it was actually the true to the film. But in this case, this guy looks exactly like what we saw on the Tanti 4 right before, um, you know, the proverbial, you know what hit the fan. Um, these guys were doing their best to uh, protect Leia, protect the Death Star plans. And of course, Leia put the Death Star plans in R2 and shot R2. Well, R2 shot himself in 3PO out to space, out to Tatooine, and the rest is history. But uh, these guys, these were the last defense. This was the, the first and only and last defense um, on the 10 4 And sadly, these guys, uh, you know, got just mowed down by the stormtroopers. And then, of course, in Rogue One, Vader, the hallway scene, can't talk about these guys without mentioning Darth Vader's hallway scene in Rogue One. Vader went to absolute town and just massacred these guys. They had no chance. I mean, he ripped through these like a hot knife through butter, which was a glorious, glorious moment in the film. One of the best, uh, you know, scenes in any of the movies in the whole saga put together, in my opinion. Um, yeah, these these guys. Ugh, this is awesome. This is awesome. The hand, of course, is a tool to hold a blaster pistol, which I know is included in this box. Um, this hand is kind of more, maybe it can hold, maybe both hands can hold, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, I guess we'll find out here in a minute. But, uh, you know, you've got gesturing that can take place. And if there was a Death Star plan, you know, like a disc recorder thing, a little accessory, you could pop that in his hand, and I'm sure somebody out there has customized one of those, or perhaps even Hasbro has made one um, for Rogue One line of toys. Um, but uh, gosh, this guy, this is a dream. And I'm holding a dream right here, kids. This is a dream I'm holding in my hand. A dream come true, thanks to Stan Solo. I mentioned this figure in a recent video that he was going to be coming out. And like I said, I just got this box. John here in the States shipped this to me. And it came here lightning quick. Thank you, John. You always seem to get uh, get my toys to me lickety split. So appreciate you for that. And uh, this is just, mm, mm. <laughs> I can't, guys. This is amazing. Um, just absolutely love that this is now. It's real. It's been realized. It's it's been immortalized in plastic. Finally, I know there's a lot of custom makers out there that do the boil and pop head swap thing in their in their you know, in their free time and have made this figure, but now I have a factory made figure, which means this one is gonna take center stage than any of the customs out there. Because in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, Stan Solo is simply the best custom toy maker out there, bar none. He is following in Kenner's footsteps. He is carrying the Kenner, Kenner legacy. No joke, no joke. Look at this guy. And as always guys, um, these figures go on pre-order when Stan Solo drops new figures, they go on pre-order and so they serve the pre-order orders first. Um, but I am gonna leave a link down in the description of this video for you guys to check out and see if maybe there's still some in stock. I can tell you now that a lot of people are gonna buy this figure. This is a figure that we never got, we always wanted, and it's gonna be a rebel army building situation. People are gonna buy gobs of these. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't just buy one, so <laughs> that's, that's right, guys. I had to uh, had to get a couple more of these guys because they're just so dang cool. And like I said, having a, a small army is uh, is a must. It's a must. Um, and like I tell you, with the pre-orders or with anything with Kenner, Kenner style, vintage-wise, don't sleep on it. Get it while the getting's good. And um, I ordered these uh, some time ago. 
Um, but from the time that the pre-orders went up to the time that I'm now holding this in my hand wasn't too long. So I'm going to be honest that Stan Solo always delivers in more ways than one. The man does what he says and you get your stuff. Unlike some other toy makers out there that will remain nameless and I don't even want to discuss them in the, in the comments section. There's no point. You know who they are. Um, this guy delivers. So thank you, Stan Solo, for getting me my Rebel Fleet Trooper. Damn, this thing is beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, I did get... I got a couple of these guys, so I'm not going to be shy about this. I, I ordered four loose. I just... I had to. Um, had to do it, man. They're just too damn cool not to. Um, I got to protect my Leia. I gotta protect my Leia. And look at these guys. I'm tripping balls right now. I'm <laughs> I mean, like, this figure is exquisite. Loving the belt buckle. Nice shiny gray belt buckle. Just loving the detail. The colors, simple. It screams Kenner. It's gonna look gorgeous next to my Leia. Um, there's nothing, honestly, I couldn't ask for more with this action figure. There's nothing that I'm like, you know what? You know what Stan Solo should have done? Said me never. Like this, this figure is everything that you could ask for. Even the boots. Look at the boots. A little bit, little bit of detail on the boots there. Of course, he's got some pockets. Gorgeous guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I uh, ah, this is awesome. This is awesome, man. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm. This is this is it. This is it, kids. This is it. This is what what it what it is in in, in today's day. I can't talk. Um, twenty twenty three. We're getting this guy right now. You know, it's uh, you know forty years in the making, but we finally got him. And I I, I just I couldn't be more jazzed. I couldn't be more jazzed. Um, and like I said, I had to get four. One wasn't gonna do it. I couldn't. You know, I always have one in my collection that I put in the run. If it's an OG Kenner figure, and then I get a separate one to stick in a display. But in this case, this is an army building situation, so I ordered four. Um, and that's kind of why I feel like you guys should get on this if you haven't already, because people are like me and are going to order four or more, and then they're going to be gone. I mean, that's just that's just the truth of the matter. Stan Solo makes a limited number of action figures. Um, and once they're gone, they're gone. They're a limited special edition type thing. Each single figure, don't sleep on it. I know in past videos I've uh, listed, um, you know, on online that uh, figures have since then gone out of stock since I've made those videos, and it's true. And I'm sorry, but the same will be true for this figure one day. So get it while you can, guys. Get it while you can. And as I was telling you. Here is the blasters. Four blasters for four troopers. Makes sense. There's that schmutz on my glove there, but uh, look at this blaster. It's got, a, you know, reminiscent of the Bespin blaster with that barrel, just ever so slightly, but the rest of it, you know, I mean, this is a fresh, new, freshly tooled blaster. This is not a... This blaster has never been uh, made by Kenner, never been made, um, you know, again, Hasbro might have made this blaster. I don't know. I don't collect modern, um, but this blaster is a perfect design. I mean, I just remember that hallway scene on a Tan T4 in A New Hope, you know, the guy's sitting there all stoic and quiet and just primed and ready to, to shoot at whatever comes through that blast door. And uh, good Lord, man, good Lord, like. Look at that. Perfect. Uh. Jesus. This is a thing of beauty, guys. This is a thing of beauty. All my boys are going to be uh, Garden Leia. So awesome. And like I said, this blaster, brand new. New to the Stan Solo collection. Hasn't been used um, by any other figure. So this was specially made for the Rebel Fleet Trooper. And like I said, this is, as far as I can tell, this looks screen accurate. Keeping with the Kenner motif, it's single colored. Um, you know, Kenner made the blasters typically a translucent blue green for most of the figures, like the Stormtrooper blaster, or it was blue or blue black. You know, 
but for the most part it was you know it was one color um, so Stan Solo is kept with that and just made this a, um, a solid black one one single color but the detail on that I don't know if you guys can see that it's just absolutely stunning absolutely stunning uh, this is like I said guys this has just been a, a day of uh, just ah when I knew this was on the way I was freaking out and I was like oh my god the troopers are coming the troopers are coming and and uh, they're here they're absolutely here now, let's see does it fit well in the left hand it, it can fit in the left hand yeah so you can you could do whichever I think the snugger fit seems to be the right the right hand it kind of snapped I don't know if you guys can hear this when I finally pop this bad boy in there is a like a snap pop to it when it goes in oh of course now it's like going to the sh mechanic and telling the mechanic uh, your car's making a weird noise and you show up and then it doesn't replicate the noise so anyway didn't hear the pop but the gun still fits in there perfectly and ay 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 thank you Stan Solo mate you knocked it out of the park once again finally delivering on a Kenner promise that never came I'm sure they would have gotten around to this figure um, I mean, why wouldn't they? Uh, but everything sadly stopped in 1985, so they never got around to it. But I am damn sure that this is what Kenner would have done had they stayed in production. Definitely would have made this kind of figure. Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. And because this figure looks so awesome, I couldn't stop there at just getting loose. Had to, had to pick up something else, guys. I had to, had to, had to. Um... It was a must. It was a must. Wouldn't wouldn't be a complete dream if I couldn't get this guy on a car back. Uh, so of course Stan Solo has made that another possibility and given this given us this gorgeous card back. Look at this thing. Look at this cherry pie MOC. Look at this thing. Unbelievable. Unpunch baby. <laughs> This is simply exquisite. That's what I was talking about, guys. There it is. There's my boys. Ready to go. Just ready to, to take on what's coming on the other side of that door. Unbelievable. I love this card back, guys. I love This is like, you know, a true replica of the old school card back, first 21. And of course... Stan Solo marked right there, plain as day, so no one could ever, ever complain. Oh, this is a, re you know, shut up. <laughs> At this point, just shut up. Stan Solo marks it. And, of course, if you have any idea what you're doing in this hobby, you know this figure was never made by Kenner. So, even if he never put that mark there, it's irrelevant. We all know this is a true custom. Look at that. Moments of silence. Moments of silence I'm taking, guys. <laughs> you don't need to adjust your computer or your phone. I'm just quiet right now. I'm just observing the absolute beauty of this this figure, this card back, this MOC. Um, sometimes you just got to shut your mouth and marvel at it. Um, at least I do. So uh, sometimes my breath does get taken away with these toys. And I'm just like, you know, it's like being a little kid. You know, especially if you're by yourself, you know, you don't necessarily squee squeal and jump up and down like a banshee when you're by yourself. Um, and I am by myself shooting this this video for you guys. So I forget sometimes that you guys are going to watch it. And so sometimes I babble too much and other times I'm just quiet like this, forgetting like, oh, shoot, I should say something. Uh, I'm recording this. Um, but in this case right now, I'm just kind of speechless because this is just a thing of beauty absolute beauty this is a pretty good day guys pretty good day I'm, uh, I'm not gonna make this video too long this is just one action figure so no need to take up the rest of your afternoon or morning depending on when you're gonna watch this but this is my spread guys this is my spread four beautiful loose rebel fleet troopers and one mint on card 
Mint on card, baby. Gorgeous. Ah. Stuff of dreams, guys. The stuff of dreams. And I think after staring at this thing long enough and trying to wipe the drool off my chin, I think it's time that we put these guys in the collection and uh, see where I'm going to put them next to Leia. Got a shelf. I don't have any of the modern accoutrements. I don't buy the Hasbro stuff, as I've said, like a broken record. So you won't see a Tan T4 hallway in my collection. Um, but I do have a shelf picked out for these guys. So let's go put them in there. All right, guys, I got my Rebel Fleet Trooper MOC on this shelf along with my boys. Finally got the boys set up right behind Leia as she's confronting Vader and his minions. I also have the droids that were featured on the Tan T4. Both of them are Stan Solo creations. But guys, look at the troopers. Oh, my gosh, this is a dream come true having this. This setup finally, thanks to Stan Solo, this dream is a reality. Absolutely epic. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give the like button a thumbs up to support the channel. And if you've not already done so, blast that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.